Hello and welcome. I'm Mike Lake and this is Stasis. In the last one, we discovered that John's daughter was in the medical facility and now we had to climb into this specimen transport. It seems like a horrible idea considering the state of the ship and what was uh, transported through here. But let's give it a try. <laughs> This is either brilliant or very, very stupid. I'm gonna say both. I'm gonna say very, very stupid. And lucky. Reminds me of climbing into one of those pods in Half-Life 2. I think in the... Uh, one of the later levels. I can't remember exactly what it was now. Anyway, Quantum devices are not permitted in specimen storage. Quarantine procedures initiated. Quantum storage device reset. They're very lucky that Gordon Freeman made the situation. No! Okay, let's they took see our what drill! This definitely looks like the medical facility. I like my drill. I think I'm on the right track. Yeah, you're on the medical bay level one. Your daughter is four decks below you. She is so close, John. So close. Yeah. Let's see if that's actually true or not. I can imagine that working out well. Uh, due to non-public access, not much care was taken to secure these exposed wires. Okay. Well, no blood down here yet, but I do see blood over here. Yep, lots of blood. Lots and lots of blood. This is strange. I'm not reading any PDTs in your area. They should remain active. Even on the de- Tell me, John. Why are you working with this jackal? Dr. Milan? Ah, <laughs> she's been talking about me. Look, I'm nobody. I just want to find my family. Without a family, man alone in the world. Temples with the cold. Are you trembling, John? Because make no mistake. Well, John, for being a school teacher, you forgot one vital thing. You know how to tell students to, uh, or to tell parents not to put names of their child on their personal items so that strangers can't call them by name? Because when someone calls you by name, you get trust in them. You trust them because you think they know them. Why does he think that just because he knows John's name that he knows him? <laughs> It's terrifying. <laughs> that sounds like it comes from Children's Damned or something. <sighs> the hell? Hey, we're. Hey, don't tip the machine. Never like to call him. <laughs> He's lucky you don't fall on him. I guess that's the shaking machine and not actually pushing the machine, though. It's going to be top. Ooh, a wire. Can I push this some more? Pushy, pushy, because there are like mini guns here. <laughs> Uh, 
How is he not tipping that thing over? Did they get uh, more safe in the meantime? Oh, maybe not. And now he's pushing on an invisible force field. Look at John being a mine. Look at him. <laughs> that was great. Oh, what's this? It's both dark and these Satan's children are dying. Let's climb down in this horrible, horrible duct. And what do you know? There's more blood. So one thing I can have come to like about this game is that I know I criticized it a little bit, but I'm still enjoying it. And one of the things I do, in fact, enjoy is that they could have different things like uh, there's an early part of the game where there's two fans and there's a different description in each. I really like that. So there's not one for this fan, but they use, like there'd be one blood splatter and they'll use one description and then there's blood splatter and they'll use, they'll say something else about it. I really like that. A sickening odor of death and rot wafts into the room, making you dag, <laughs> dag, gag from his nauseating scent. What's this? Ooh, pistol! What's wrong, John? Is your arm broken or something? What did it say? It smelled really bad. A faint smell of gunpowder lingers in the air. Do I have shots? Empty pistol. Alright. Oh. I couldn't figure out what that was. That was me! And there's a dead body here, of course. <laughs> what would be stasis without a dead body? Oh, that reminds me. When uh, Dr. M Milan was it? Was talking uh, to me over the intercom. Body, it's pretty bloody done. I had the... Uh, uh, Dead Space uh, flashbacks. I keep thinking you're going to say, make us whole again. That's what that guy kind of reminded me of. Uh, that doctor in, from Dead Space. The accents sound nothing alike, but he kind of reminds me of him. More power outages today. More power outages today. Damn it, I thought they had a lid on that. People have been crankier than usual. One of my boys just broke down today. Shaking or scratching like he was suffering from withdrawal or something. I checked with the nurses who examined him. It seems like there was some sort of drug in the system. He swore blind he wasn't dirty and hadn't been taking anything. But they're already preparing a tribunal for the poor guy. The thing is, I believe him. Everybody's been acting a little bit peculiar lately. What's happening to my beautiful ship? The crap, this crap. That crap is growing up the spine of the baby like a cancer. I keep mailing Dr. Milan about this. Hey, Dr. Milan. But he hasn't responded to any of my messages. I know he's reading them because I get more of these stooges from hydroponics down to collect samples whenever I send more than a few words his way. I managed to corner an assistant the other day and demanded to know when he was getting a share of the rations. She looked at me like she hadn't slipped in weeks and said soon. None of us are sleeping properly. I tried to to greet each day with a smile, but the wretches wretches are getting panicky. It's not mutinous. I spend my days breaking up fights instead of maintaining the engines. I was thinking of taking a group down to the engine ports and torching that shit off to all. But I'm worried if it's too late for that now. That could be really bad making that stuff airborne. It was like uh, poison ivy or something. Be in for a bad time. Uh, no more engineers. No more hope. When you take these things away, you got nothing left. I'm dictating this wedge under the main security terminal. I don't think any of those things will hear me. The rest of the survivors are holed up in the bulkheads, but nobody was willing to risk leaving until we had some sort of protection. I point out we'd either starve or die anyway, so they voted or willing me for try and get help. So I come down here through one of the maintenance access tunnels 
and programs a security terminal to mark any individuals with their PDT stem lantern as hostile. That should at least get the turret on their side. I'm just not sure it'll work, but it's all I could try. Hmm. Okay, so he's the one who did that. I'm alone now. Hell, I've used to it. I never met the right girl and all that. I'm pretty sure I heard Lotus screaming, you know. They're probably all dead now. I can't know for sure. I could uh, hear those things peeling panels off the floor and walls like they were paper. And I'll be damned if they find me cowering under the floor like this, like that. Guy Fox jumped uh, with the noose around his neck when he was about to be executed. Do you know that they were going to aft strangle him and then rip him to pieces? But he cheated the executioners, breaking his own neck before they could carry on torturing him. Uh, I'm going to do likewise. Got a gun for my protection, see? Only one bullet left. No problem. I only need one. I only need one. Alright. Inbox and out. Box. Wow, more. This is... This is how it is. The unidentified substance is still spreading. It's fouling up engine ports D through G after a brief confab with the drive engineers. I can tell you it's having a detrimental effect on the efficiency and speed of the engines. The long shore of it is that the ship is seriously slowing down. The only thing accelerating is the speed of the fungal growth. Its origins are is unknown. Its origins is unknown. What? Although we're narrowing it down, this is a crisis situation. Use the hardest stuff you can find to remove it from the fixtures and drive plates without actually endangering the protective casing of the drive cores. Wait a second here. You're traveling through space. You only need uh, your engines to really maneuver or speed up or, well, slow down, I guess. So they should be traveling the same speed. Why are they slowing down? That doesn't make any sense. So if I'm misunderstanding space travel, please put it in the comments. But I think they screwed up or I'm misunderstanding something. Dr. I don't know how to say his name. Rachka Kupar. For those of you who are still able to receive these messages on the internet, you know now that creatures are, No, the internet's down. Creatures are using our PDT to proceed past security checkpoints. To prevent this, I've decided that each in turn will proceed you proceed under armed guard to the primary surgeon pod where your PDTs will be removed. Once this is done, we will re reprogram the security protocols so that they will target all creatures that still possess these tags. Do not answer the doors to your quarters unless confirmed by the designated password. Today, the word is Aegis. Or Aegis. I can't remember how to say that. Going all Greek on us. Hmm, so that's interesting. Okay, so this is a century. So we learned that the uh, creatures are tracking them by the PDTs. It sounds like they're fairly smart. Get up there. <coughs> That's the base of that gun. You look at it for me? No low ammunition? Yeah, that thing is broke. That one's not. So, oh. Can I click on anything? No. Let's try drilling it. Oh, I don't have a drill. Alright. Let's pour jolt cola over it. Sirenara to gun B. Alrighty. Go oh, this way. This way, guy. I don't think there's anything else down here for me to click on. Yeah, so that, yeah, they did have a slow spinning fan shadow there. They were different from the other one. Hmm. Let's try this door. I hate 
doors. One override. Coming up. Shit, John. The security systems in medical are inaccessible. It's like they've been locally reset. I can't access anything. I'll think of something. Hmm. Alright. <gasps> this gun is most likely for general security through desperate measures have been instituted to control what? Juca Cola addicts to certain in certain situations. Oh wow. Because that they said that stuff was uh what should we call it? Addictive. <laughs> That's crazy that they put guns up next to it. Is there anything else here? Loose wires. But I think that's uh, enough for this one. We're out of time. And the next one, we're going to pick up this gun and see what we could use that for. I have a pretty good idea of what we're going to use it for. It's going to be great. So tune in for that. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you catch me in the next one. Goodbye.